Today's video is definitely gonna be different than what I imagined it would be. I didn't think this time would come anytime soon. Kinda came as a shock to me, and I'm sure it's gonna come as a shock to you guys. Today's episode is gonna be revolved around the new little guy in the house, the new shop dog, the new doggo, the new little pup. We are very excited to introduce you guys to him, and we are so stoked to have him here. We've wanted a dog this for a pretty long time. I've always wanted this type of dog. We don't really have a for sure name quite yet. Maybe you guys can help us out with that. We do know that he is a little over 12 weeks old. He is a husky. We think he's a slight mix, but we're not entirely sure. He has a beautiful face and one eye is blue and as you can see the other eye is brown. That's kind of where we got the name blue from, but if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to comment them down below. Him and Shadow have been getting along very well though, by the way, for those who are wondering. He spent his first night here last night and he did pretty good. Didn't cry too much and slept throughout the whole entire night, so that's good. Today I'm gonna bring him to the shop, introduce him to everybody, and have him get to know his surroundings a little bit. And I just kinda wanna spend the day with him. I was planning on doing work on the BRZ today, but like I said, I wasn't planning to get a dog last night, but it just kind of happened. I kinda just wanna spend the day with the new dog and kinda get to know him a little more and kinda hang out with him. Shadow's gonna hang back, like I said, I just kinda wanna develop a relationship with this dog and get to know him a little bit and have him feel a little bit more comfortable with us. He's been warming up to us more throughout the day, so we're super excited and he's so playful, he's so awesome. We finally got a shop doggo. You guys have been asking for a shop doggo for the longest time and Sabrina made that happen for y'all. <laughs> Hold him like this. Oh, he just pooped, he pooped all over my white no, shirt now. not. All over my white shirt. This is the daily routine. Daily routine, X5M, mob to the warehouse, okay? Hope you get used to this, buddy. You're gonna be in cars a lot. Just don't jump, no jumping out. No, bitch. Look, everybody's there so excited. Oh, it's a baby! <laughs> Little yeah. throttle. Yeah, we should just put shop dot throttle on the side. Yeah, so walking out, I'll get you a, cup, a sweet collar. Blue, hi. Tyler's catchphrase, oh shit. All right, buddy. Welcome to the shop. <laughs> I know you want mommy, don't you? Wolf boy. Wolf boy. Meet Mickey. Oh, he's so soft. Young wolf. It says he got two baths. Two baths. Wow, well, he's gonna need one after he's here all day. I know. Oh, great. Hi, buddy. Okay, you What's his name? We're thinking blue. Blue? His eye. You're my boy, blue. Very oh, wait, calm. he has one blue eye. Yeah. And one black eye, brown eye. Brown eye. Oh, that's about the softest yeah. dog I've ever felt. This is so cool. No, he's like grandson. really chill. This is your grandson? This is my grandson. <laughs> <laughs> your grandson? Oh, look, it's that Tyler so and Tyler cool. Jr. Tyler Jr., how are you doing, bro? He's so big. We brought you lunch. These are so fun. <laughs> <laughs> to check up on the BRZ, gasketing or silicone or caulking, whatever you want to call it, it's finally sealed up. Looks kind of gross on the outside, but completely sealed, completely dry. That worked out really nice. Come tomorrow, we'll put this thing up, install our new parts, and we should be back on the road. Hopefully, most likely. I'm not Godfather Kabilling. Not Godfather Kabilling. I didn't do it, Serena just came home with it. I know. This is what I was telling Sam on Discord last night. I was saying, you may think that Sabrina's the bad guy, but no, this is my friend TJ. Let me explain, let me, let me, let me just tell a little bit of story time for you guys. So TJ's the type of person to be like, I'm not completely against it, but I don't condone it. Yeah. TJ's about 65%, 65% like I'm okay with it, 35% I'm not okay with it. So this is what TJ does. He does want it, so this is what he, I, Sabrina can correct me if I'm wrong, this is what TJ does. You're a bitch, you won't get the dog, you won't do it. I 100% I believe, but in his head he's like, please get the dog, please get the dog, please get, but he's in, in, in reality, TJ's like, you're too much of a pussy, Sabrina, to no, just no, go no, and get no, the dog. No. In his head, he's like, okay, if I don't say no, like, no, no, that's no, pretty but, much me but saying what he yes. was, But what he was doing was like telling you, like, and then, you won't he, and then he left me. I'm, I was like, then should we do it? Question mark. And then he just leaves me on read, and I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Can't be condoning this activity. And he's so excited. He was so excited. Of course he is. I'm just the granddad. <laughs> Mm -mm, clear Boys, throat. Mm -mm. We got some fat, meaty track tires slash not not tires wheels up for sale right here. NK RSO five RRs. I think they're called. They're 18 by 10 and a half plus 15. 
perfect for going to the track. They're lightweight, forged. They are $1,800, and that's like a really good price for these. So if you're interested, please hit me up. I need these gone as soon as possible to put my new wheels on. You guys don't know about that yet, but hey, buy these. They're nice. I'm going to put a blip right here. This is all the information you need if you want them. You can contact Dustin. Let's try to sell some wheels. While the pub is taking a nap, I'm gonna go over to AutoZone and pick up some parts for the BRZ to get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be interesting in the timeline of getting the BRZ done. Now that there is a pup and there are things to do for that pup, I need to take him to like a vet appointment at 11.30, and I also need to pick up parts from Subaru tomorrow, and I also need to start BRZ tomorrow. We're gonna make it fit, but these next couple months are gonna be very jam-packed with a bunch of puppy care. I was reading comments about the wheels as well. A lot of you guys think they look OEM. In person, they don't. 100% they don't. But the idea was to kind of keep them classy and not too wild. I'm super stoked on them. First up, AutoZone, baby. I'm waiting for that AutoZone sponsorship, though. Fuck off. For all the, um, all the parts, my 350 is full of AutoZone parts. Mickey asked me to pick him up some lube. I mean, epoxy. So I'll do that first. Door handle for your car? Oh, yeah. My... Oh, yeah. My RX-7 actually does need one. Should we just retrofit Sorry, that? Sorry, this is mine. I needed it more than you, so it's mine. We just got back to the shop to eat some food, Excuse and me, the sir. pup is still Excuse sleeping. Me? Excuse me? He's just a good boy. Oh, let me feed my dog. He's a quick. sleeping pup. You want some KFC, dude? While well, the pup is in there sleeping, there are some orders that we have to do for the hunt company, so me and Calvin are placing these orders and helping the return. So if you had any returns you were waiting on, they're being done right now and shipped back out to you guys. It's kind of nice having like a relaxing day because it's been like so hectic lately. Just kicking back, hanging with the pup, filling orders, and for once, watching somebody else work on their car. Evan's in the back struggling with his hydro, which hey! I hated doing my hydro. That took that was the longest thing to figure out. Vlogging and taking care of a puppy is one of the hardest things in the world. I haven't vlogged too much today, and I apologize for that. Right now, I'm trying to teach Blue how to walk down the stairs. He gets halfway and turns around every time. Okay, look, Shadow can do it. I know you can do it. Keep going. I'm right here. Don't be a, don't be a bitch. No, yes, you see him? You see that? That could be you. That can be you. All right, Shadow, come up. Let's teach him how to do this. No, not butt sniffing time. Oh, good job. Good job. Good job. Don't, don't look up. Come on, Blue, Blue. Yeah! You did it! You did it! Remember I told you guys like a week and a half ago when I was making tacos, a fire alarm went off? It did it again! And I finally got it on camera this time. Finishing the night off with some homemade talks, a nice big glass of milk. Apparently you guys think it's really weird that I have milk with tacos, but it's never once occurred to me that that's a weird combination. Today was a really chill day. I know the video was a little bit short, but I kind of just want to spend most of my time with the new dog and kind of just like hang out with it and just making it feel comfortable. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward. You should know I'm feeling